Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're new around here, I'm Nima. I've been a corporate executive with over 15 years of experience in both sales and finance. My videos break down complex financial concepts to help you on your financial journey, whether you're just starting out or if you're already a seasoned pro. So thanks for clicking in and let's jump into today's topic, which is the five top stocks that I'm betting on in 2024. So of course guys, no one can predict what the stock market will do in 2024 or how any individual stock will fare. Investors can set themselves up for success by buying shares of companies with solid long-term prospects that are trading at reasonable valuations and holding on to it tightly. But I'm personally betting that international business machines like IBM, Intel, AT&T, Walt Disney, and American Tower will deliver good gains in 2024 and beyond. Now, after all my research, I've decided to share it with you all. So let me explain why I think that these five stocks will do well in 2024. The first on my list is IBM. Now, keeping it simple, guys, cloud computing is complicated and so is artificial intelligence. For large enterprises and organizations with vast IT infrastructures and low risk tolerances, moving everything to Amazon Web Services or AWS, or tapping OpenAI may not be viable options. IBM has positioned itself as a critical partner for enterprises looking to digitally transform and modernize their operations. The company's hybrid cloud platform can run anywhere, enabling clients to mix and match their public clouds and their own private data centers. And Watson X, IBM's new enterprise AI platform, is tailor-made for enterprises that need to ensure their proprietary data remains safe and that they comply with the regulatory requirements. Now, IBM expects to grow revenue by 3-5% to this year and onward into 2024, driven by the strong demand for digital transformation projects that deliver clear returns on investments for customers. IBM certainly isn't the fastest fastest growing tech company, but valued at just 14 times forward free cash flow, it doesn't need to be to produce solid returns for investors. Now the second stock on my list is Intel. So what stands out to me about Intel is how many ways it can actually win. The company is best known for its PC and server central processing units, otherwise known as CPUs but it also sells graphic cards, AI accelerators, and other specialized chips. In addition to making its own chips, Intel is building a foundry business to rival market leader TSMC, which is the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. So with the launch of the Intel 18A manufacturing process scheduled for late 2024, Intel expects to gain a technological advantage. Now, no matter where the semiconductor industry goes, Intel will benefit through its foundry business. As demand for AI accelerators continues to explode, not only does Intel sell its Gaudi AI chips and its data center graphics processing units, otherwise known as GPUs, but it could eventually manufacture AI chips for others as well. If ARM-based PCs become a thing, Intel will be ready to manufacture those ARM chips thanks to a collaboration with ARM. Once the Intel 18A process is ready, the company's total addressable market will expand dramatically. And I have a good feeling about this considering the advancements in AI that we have had thus far. Intel stock is down from its pandemic era high and the company has a market value below that of their competitor, AMD. Now, neither of these will remain true for as long as Intel's foundry strategy plays out over the next few years. Now, the third stock on my list is AT&T. Guys, I'll tell you honestly, AT&T has a lot of debt and its expensive fumbles in the media industry should rightly give investors some hesitancy to invest. But with that being said, the company has gotten back to their basics. Fiber internet and 5G wireless are the core focuses moving forward. The wireless business continues to gain subscribers, albeit at a slower rate than last year, and the fiber business is still steadily expanding. AT&T expects to generate free cash flow of up to 16.5 billion this year, and the company's capital intensity should ease over the next few years as the 5G investment cycle begins to wind down. And now with a recent move to revamp its wireless infrastructure with more flexible hardware and software could free up some capital to grow other businesses, including things like their fiber internet a bit faster. 
In case you didn't know this, AT&T is a company whose stock is trading at a really low price compared to the money it actually brings in, and the 6.7 dividend yield that it offers to its investors is very attractive as well. Some folks believe that its value is low because it can be influenced by how well the economy is doing. However, in my opinion, the price is much lower than it should be considering what the company is actually worth. Now, before I dive into my fourth stock to invest into, if you find this video helpful so far, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Your support truly helps this channel grow, and I'm all about providing free and helpful content without charging for a course or anything like that. So now, the fourth stock on my list is Walt Disney. So guys, the reason to own Disney stock is simple. This iconic company will eventually figure out how to make its valuable intellectual property and assets work in this new age of streaming. Disney's linear TV business has long been a cash cow, but that won't remain the case forever. The company is focusing on four key areas right now. Making the streaming business profitable, turning ESPN into a digital sports powerhouse, fixing the film business that has been stumbling in the post-pandemic era, and accelerating growth in the experiences business, which includes the company's amusement parks and their cruise line. Disney's superpower has always been its ability to have each business feed into and strengthen the others, fueled by its vast catalog of media assets. Now, it will take some time for Disney to fully figure it out, but there's little reason to believe that the company won't eventually do so. Now, the fifth and last stock on my list is American Tower. And guys, if you haven't heard of this before, American Tower owns cell phone towers and other communication assets around the world. While its growth depends on capital spending of its telecom customers, long-term contracts makes its revenue extremely predictable. As long as demand for mobile data continues to rise, American Tower will benefit as wireless providers race to keep pace with each other. The shares of American Tower have rallied over the past two months, but the stock still looks like a solid deal. The company has been consistently raising its dividends even throughout the pandemic. The stock currently has a 3.2% dividend yield, which is more than double that of the S&P 500. American Tower's business is about as stable as they come. For long-term investors, it's definitely a stock worth buying and holding on to. So everyone, I wanna thank you for tuning in all the way through as I share my top five stock picks for 2024. Remember, predicting the market's future is tough, but investing in companies with strong potential and fair values can set you up for success. Each of these stocks that I've mentioned have their own unique strengths. IBM's focus on cloud and AI, Intel's diverse chip business, AT&T's core focus on the internet and 5G, Disney's streaming strategy, and American Tower's stable communication assets. Now, I hope that you can use this information to make smart and calculated investments for your long-term success. If you have your own stock suggestions, please don't hesitate to share them with our community down in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more videos every week. I'll catch you all in the next video.